you don't have to be Cuban to be human and see what's going on and feel compassion for them. Natalis Alayeto, a Milwaukee Cuban American, is talking about the unrest in Cuba. Protesters taking to the streets, voicing their concerns, driven by shortages on food, medicine, and hygiene products. Protests like this haven't happened in Cuba in over 60 years. They're starving and there's no food. Um, my brother stood in line 10 hours for one pack of meat for the fa whole family. The energy has been cut off to two hours a day. This is oppression. We're st this is real life hunger games. Cuba's president has called these protesters criminals, but acknowledged more needs to be done to improve conditions. Cuba's Ministry of Interior says one person has died since the start of the protests. Activists groups say more than 100 have been arrested or are missing. Government is trying to silence that, so we're going to be their voices. If their voices are being silenced, we're going to go out and speak for them. One way Natalise is planning on doing that is with this. Si Cuba está en la calle, Wisconsin también. A peaceful protest at Mitchell Park Domes in Milwaukee. During our interview, we tried to FaceTime her brother Esteban, who lives in Cuba. The internet was spotty, but his message was clear. Please join forces and stand up for Cuba. He described his living conditions as dangerous and fighting back tears. Natalie says she's just trying to help from miles away. It's hard, right? Because you're, you're helpless. Like, there's nothing we can do. Um, and I try to keep a brave face, but even eating, right? Like, I can't even eat in front of him because it's like we're gloating, um, you know, because they're starving. And if I can be his voice and if, if I can fight for him, um, then I'm going to do that. I feel like it's my my duty um, with freedom that I do have. In Milwaukee, Diana Gutierrez, WISN 12 News.